Bharat, the land of vibrant cultures and a spectrum of traditions. Divided beautifully into 28 states, each celebrating its iconic art form and united by a common spirit, humanity. One such majestic art form is pottery, an emotional engagement with the material that constitutes us all. Clay. It showcases a non-linguistic dialogue between the artisan and the material, enhancing familiarity and relatedness with the earth. However, advancing on the slope of technological domain, we have unfortunately lost touch with our very own land and the potters who breathe life into it. A staggering 8 million tons of plastic ends up in the oceans every year, threatening the ecosystem, food safety and human health. The growth of online food delivery apps has escalated the use of plastic containers, worsening the plastic menace. An Arbo project Dhara aims to eradicate this very menace by establishing earthenware as an alternative to single-use plastic and simultaneously preserving the perishing art of pottery. Our research shows that potters have a seasonal income and it only reaches to a sustainable level during festive seasons like Diwali. Our community of potters was pushed outside the city of Chandigarh to Maloya by the authorities, killing their already dwindling sales. Maloya is home to over 28 potter families, all living in poverty. Upon several sensitization sessions and continuous visits, the team convinced four potter families to start afresh. After conducting an in-depth market demand analysis, we learned that various restaurants were willing to switch to earthenware if it would compete with the market prices and was customizable. To meet the demands of the restaurants, potters were convinced to procure modern machineries. With the help of SEBI trained professionals, the team conducted financial literacy workshops for the potters. They were made aware of the new schemes like Kumhar Sashaktikaran Yojana by the Government of India. The team helped the community to get micro loans and guided them to acquire latest equipments like electric kilns and mold machines to make customizable products with utmost quality. Previously, the potters were using wood to burn in the furnaces, which was a tedious task and added significantly to pollution. The use of electric kilns instead of the tedious wood furnaces has considerably brought down the carbon emissions, and unlike conventional kilns, these can be used in any weather conditions. In collaboration with Khadi Village and Industries Commission KVIC, Government of India, the potters will be acquiring the latest equipments such as terracotta grinder, which recycles clay from overbaked, broken and defective pieces to make cheaper products. The potters are now also using a pug mill to improve the consistency of clay, making it more feasible to work with. The team started marketing in the month of March 2019. With the help of new equipments, potters were able to reduce the costs by 50%, which in turn helped to meet the demand of the target customer, that is, the restaurants. This allowed us to bag orders for the potters from 11 leading food joints in the Tri-City for plates, handies and coolers. The revenue from these orders accounted to Rs 12,98,000 between March 2019 and February 2020. The team helped in diversifying the variety of earthenware and broadening the channel of sales to generate additional income by setting up stalls at Organic Market and a school fair in Shimla. With our intervention, the average income of Potter families has increased from Rs 17,500 to Rs 45,000. The eight employees working under them now have an average monthly income of Rs 8,000. Through this project, the team has impacted 64 lives directly, 32,550 lives indirectly, created three entrepreneurs, two businesses, eradicated 4.2 tons of plastic, attained eight UN sustainable goals, and generated a total revenue of Rs 27,814 leading to 280% increase in revenue from last year. For the coming years, we have designed a low-cost clay and copper-based water filter, whose efficacy is being tested. The aim is to provide an affordable solution for clean water to the target customers from the rural and the suburban areas. Moreover, the team is in talks with the General Manager of Northern Railways for replacing plastic cups with clay coolers at multiple railway stations. The team will also be approaching Chandigarh Airport authorities for the same. Replicating this model in near future, we will be working with potter communities across different cities in North India. Now let's hear from one of the potters, Rekha Gupta. I can 
और घर में थोड़ा सा जो खर्चा पानी है वो भी मैं कर ही हूँ और हस्बैंड की सहेली को जानते ही आज तक कर रहे हैं Seeing the drastic improvement in the lives of these potters, more potters of Maloya now want to work with us. The misery-stricken potters now have a ray of hope that they will be able to make a living without having to give up their passion and lineage pottery. Continuing on the theme of combating the plastic menace, we present our second project, Uday. Gone are the days when clothing was a part of basic requirements. Now it has become an ever-growing fad. But sadly, we have become averse to what comes with the increasing demand of cloth, textile pollution. Textile industry is a silent yet the most active killer of our earth. Every year, tons of cloth are disposed of irresponsibly, ending up in water bodies or landfills. Our team strives for a simple yet effective solution. replacing plastic bags with cloth bags made from discarded cloth thus initiating project udai we notice that the inequality women face shapes their experience of poverty differently from that of men and makes it more challenging for them to climb out of poverty we wanted to uplift such marginalized women thus we wrote to local women in need of income to establish a manufacturing avenue for sustainable products In 2018 the team started working with seven semi skilled yet unemployed housewives in Mandi Gobindgarh a small village near Chandigarh after conducting rigorous trainings they were skilled in stitching finance management and marketing this allowed them to bag several orders and made the community self reliant for their business in 2019 seeing the progress of the community we wanted to help more underprivileged ladies and expanded project for them Thus, we collaborated with an NGO developing indigenous resources. DIR engages in efforts to enable women to generate income through the provisions of training, equipment, and microcredit. The team is working with a group of six ladies and making them financially independent and socially recognized, while keeping the main objective of reducing the use of plastic in mind. Let's hear from one such woman, Sunita Mukhia. 2007, my marriage was. तो मैं बिहार चली गई शादी के बाद और शादी के हम चार साल तक मैं वहाँ बिहार में थी और वहाँ पर मेरा दहेज की वजह से काफ़ी लड़ाई झगड़ा मारपीट सब कुछ होता था हस्बैंड के साथ तो फिर चार साल के बाद मेरी बेटी हुई और एक साल की मेरी बेटी थी तो उस टाइम पर मेरा तलाक हो गया था दहेज की वजह से मैं दो में फिर वापस आई थी यहाँ डी में For these ladies, the team held a four-month Ministry of Skill Development tailoring program and successfully got them certified. The team also held financial literacy workshop for these ladies with the help of SEBI trained professionals. Stitching workshops were held in partnership with Fashion Department, Punjab University, to help them learn how to stitch customer-friendly bags. These bags were made by keeping in mind the strength, aesthetics, and reusability. These workshops helped boost their confidence. The next step was to provide these women with regular orders and reusable cloth. Initially, discarded cloth was procured from textile mills in Ludhiana and furnishing centers for making cloth bags. With the help of Social Substance and NPO in Chandigarh, we set up regular cloth collection drive. Collection boxes were also set up in various hostels of the university, thus ensuring a regular and sustained cloth collection for the production of bags. The clothes collected was segregated into two. wearable and non wearable the wearable ones were further directed to dir for donation while the non wearable ones were used for producing the bags this ensured that minimum quantity of cloth was thus discarded to give the community a starting point we relied on local vendors in tri city looking to switch to cloth bags from plastic the team bagged various orders from local boutiques grocery shops and stationery shops The ladies have also been regularly putting up stalls at the bi-monthly organic market Chandigarh. We realized that the cloth bags face tough competition in the market. Hence to ensure sustained orders, we diversified the product range and came up with cloth-based conference portfolios. To further our cause, we approached the honorable vice chancellor of Punjab University who assured that all the conferences being held in the university will use these portfolios. Through this project, we generated a revenue of rupees one lakh ten thousand three hundred eighty, directly impacting seventy-two lives and indirectly four thousand five hundred fifty lives. We cycled one thousand three hundred thirty-two kilograms of cloth, produced eighteen kilograms of plastic, attained eight UN Sustainable Goals, and created nine entrepreneurs. 
six still working with us while the other three have started their own business. Sunita has now become a strong, independent woman who has nothing to fear. She now takes training in stitching for other women and is also a health promoter of the ladies at DIR. She not only makes enough to pay for her daughter's education, but is also able to save for the future. Sunita has broken the shackles of the patriarchal society and is now a flag bearer for all women who face oppression. By the end of the year, we want to provide the ladies with an online platform to sell their products so that they can have regular orders. Once these ladies are sustained, the team will look forward to expand the community to change the lives of more such women. The team will also establish collection centers throughout the city to collect discarded cloth in collaboration with Municipal Corporation Chandigarh. During the pandemic, our project progress took a hit. Thus, we started manufacturing face masks in addition to cloth bags. This way, we ensured that the community had a source of income even during the lockdown to support themselves. We organized fundraising campaigns and from the money generated, we distributed ration kits and reusable face masks made by our community to the poor families with malnourished children and pregnant mothers. Project Dhara has been surviving the wrath of the pandemic due to the boom in the takeaway orders. An active Punjab University endorses change, a change succeeded by entrepreneurship based on scalability and sustainability. We believe in changing the world by changing lives. We strive to make a positive change by refining and redefining practices through solutions that empower and prosper people and the planet. A wave of change has begun and we won't stop till the ocean is near.